about uh, summer flounder. Okay, and, sure. And uh, uh, maybe two or three tips that you could share with recreational anglers? Sure. At the times that I fish summer flounder, whether it's been in the Northeast or Virginia, the, the most important points that I came away with was number one, is finding the right area, the right conditions where you have that type of bottom mixed with a little bit of structure, but you have water flow, which uh -huh. I found to be real critical when I was with people who look for them. Mm -hmm. Secondly, is not to overgun the size of your bucktail or the, or the baits that you're fishing in that situation. We were doing a lot of bucktailing, you know, tip with silver sides or doing strips of, uh, of bluefish and going with smaller jigs that are just light enough to hold bottom and where you can sit there and just sort of mud them a little bit and mm -hmm. it's not overly large and with lighter leaders too, like some 25 or 30 pound test and uh, that also proved to be a very big deal on it as well. And then the other thing is always on the strike, which I found too, that when you feel that little bend in the rod, don't react and try to come up because you may not have it consumed mm -hmm. at that point. You let them bend the rod, you put some slack into it, you let them sit there and do what it has to do, whether it has to turn up bait around to swallow it uh, if you're live baiting head first, yep. and then slightly lift up again, you still feel them, put the rod down a little bit more slack, yep. and then at that point, the next time start winding tight till the bend and just keep winding till the bend goes all the way down. So give that fish time for it to hook itself. So no quick hook set, you just let that fish eat its way up the bait, hey, so Especially to speak. with a live bait or using a bait situation, yes. And could you talk about uh, water movement again? You're always on the drift, and uh, your, yeah, you your theory, the faster the better? Or? Well, no, you, you want enough water flow where it stimulates the feeding, but not where it's just racing to where you really can't reach bottom unless you're using very heavy leads and, you know, to get down there, then you start losing your ability to feel for the fish. So you want it when there's enough water moving, where it's at the start of a tide where it's just starting <laughs> to move. You know, moving water will start to move the bait. It stimulates them in the feeding mode, and it makes it easier those lesser stages to get baits down, glider baits and all, be able to catch these fish. Well, thank you very much, George.